Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So use integration by parts to, to integrate this. So here you've got one block multiplying with another one here. Looking at this, you should make this to be your u. Because, uh, because later on, u prime will become easier. If you make this to be your u, then, uh, then later on, u prime won't become any easier. Well, do whatever you want. Uh, use integration by parts to integrate this. So press pause and have a go. Okay, so to do this, um, to do this, let uh, let this here be uh, be your u, be your u. So that's this bit here, and then let this bit here be your v prime. So this is your v prime. Well, if you uh, if u equals x squared, then u prime, then u prime will equal this. If this is v, uh, v prime, then uh, then v will be this. So now it's just uh, it's just for it's just about following this in this uh, procedure here. So it would be u times v. So that would be uh, u times v, which would give you uh, minus x squared e to the minus x. And then you've got your takeaway, takeaway, and then the integral of u prime, u prime. So so u prime times v. So this is u prime times times v. That's this thing here. So that would then be negative two x e to the minus x and then you've got your dx dx here uh, this here is a constant so take it out so it will become a positive 2 well this whole thing here will then become this will then become uh, will then become this notice the uh, the positive 2 here so uh, so now it's just um, now now apply apply the same rule again so hang on so we we are currently we are currently here at the moment, so now we need to to use the same procedure and work this out. Uh, we so so let this here, let this here be your be your u, and then let this here be your your um, your your v prime. So now um, now if if u equals x, uh, if u equals x, then u prime equals one. If v prime equals this, then normal v would equal this. So now it's just a matter of following the normal procedure. So if you um, if you look at this, get u times v, get u times v. So that would then give you um, that 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 would then give you uh, this. Hang on, let me think. Sorry. Um, yeah. So so this thing here will then become this. But but don't forget, we 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 are going to let this to um, to be capital I. So uh, yeah, so so let this thing here be capital I. Um, so so this thing here will become this, and then uh, and then the two here is a constant. So leave it on the outside of the brackets here, and then using the procedure here. Um, so so so, hang on. so this bit here is this. This two here is this. So now follow the procedure. Get u times v. So get u times v. That will then give you this, and then we've got a minus the integral of of um, of. Now let, let, let's get u prime, u prime here times v times v. So that will then uh, that will then give you this, and then and then this dx here is this. So it's, so it's really you evaluating this bit here. So this whole thing here will then become this, okay? And then now. Uh, now it's just uh, hang on, let me think. So now it's just um, it, now all we need to do is integrate this now. Okay, so hang on. So um, let's let's multiply this out. That will then give us uh, that will then give us this. Okay, and then uh, and then don't forget the two times this. So that so that two is here. But then you've got a negative and a negative here. So so I'm, I'm making about three moves in one go. Well, this this times this. And then you you integrate it. Sorry, hang on. This times this. Uh, so take the minus out here. It will then give you this. So now integrate this. It will then give you. It will then give you this. Okay. So uh, so overall the answer would be this. Okay.